Welcome to Edupedia World. In this video, we will discuss about the properties of arithmetic mean, calculations of corrected arithmetic mean, and weighted arithmetic mean. Properties of arithmetic mean. The sum of deviations of the observation from the arithmetic mean is always zero. That is, sigma under bracket x minus x with a dash above it is equals to zero where x is the variables and x with a dash above it is the arithmetic mean of the observation. It happens because arithmetic mean is a point of balance, that is, sum of positive deviations from mean is equal to sum of negative deviation. Due to this property, arithmetic mean is characterized as the center of gravity. This can be made clear with the help of an illustration. As we can see in the table, in the first column, Variables are written which are denoted by x that is 3, 5, 8, 12. After adding up the variable, we will get sigma x which is 28. Mean of the observation is 7. In the second column, we will deduct arithmetic mean from the variables that is 3 minus 7, we will get minus 4. 5 minus 7, we will get minus 2. 8 minus 7, we will get 1. And 12 minus 7, we will get 5. After calculating it, we get 0. So this shows that the sum of deviation of the observation from the arithmetic mean is always 0. Second property, the sum of the square of the deviation of the items from the arithmetic mean is minimum. That is, sigma x minus x with a dash above it whole square is minimum. Where x is the variable and x with a dash above it is arithmetic mean of the series. The sum is less than the sum of the square of the deviation of the items from any other value. This can be made clear with the help of a following illustration. As you can see in the table, in the first column we have taken variables which is denoted by letter x, 3, 5, 8, 12. In the second column we have deducted arithmetic mean of the observation from the variables. Arithmetic mean of this series is 7. So we will deduct 7 from 3 we will get minus 4, we will deduct 7 from 5, we will get minus 2 and so on. In the third column, we will write the square of second column, that is 16, 4, 1, 25. After adding up, we will get 46. In the fourth column, we have taken 8 as the any other value. We will deduct 8 from the variable that is 3 minus 8 we will get minus 5, 5 minus 8 we will get minus 3, 8 minus 8 0, 12 minus 8 we will get 4. In the last column we will write the square x minus 8 whole square that is 25, 9, 0, 16. After calculating it will get 50. As you can see that 46 is less than the sum of the square of the deviation of the item from any other value. In this case, we have taken 8 as any other value. So, this is how the second property is justified. Third property, if each observation of a series is increased or decreased by a constant, say k, then the arithmetic mean of the new series also get increased or decreased by k. That is, new mean is arithmetic mean of the series plus k. For example, the arithmetic mean of 4 items, 3, 5, 8, 12 is 7. If 2 is added to each of the 4 items, then mean of new 4 items that is 5, 7, 10, 14 will also increase by 2. That is new mean will be 9. Next we come to the fourth property. If all the items in a series are multiplied or divided by a constant, then the mean of these observation also gets multiplied or divided by it. For example, the arithmetic mean of 4 item, that is 3, 5, 8, 12 is 7. If each item is multiplied by say 5, then mean of new 4 items, that is 15, 25, 40, 60, will also become 5 times of the original mean that is new mean will be 35. Calculation of corrected arithmetic mean. Sometimes in the calculation of arithmetic mean some items or values are wrongly taken due to mistake or oversight. 
Accordingly, the mean value goes wrong. Such mean value can be corrected using the following formula. That is, arithmetic mean of the observation equals to sigma x wrong plus correct value minus incorrect value divided by n that is number of observation. Steps to calculate correct arithmetic mean. First of all, incorrect sigma x is calculated. We know that arithmetic mean is equals to sigma x divided by n. So incorrect will be sigma x equals to n arithmetic mean. From this incorrect sigma x, subtract wrong or incorrect items and add correct items to get correct sigma x. Divide correct sigma x by number of items to get correct arithmetic means. That is correct arithmetic mean equals to correct sigma x divided by n which is number of illustration. Let us understand this with the help of the following illustration which is in the coming slide. Illustration regarding corrected arithmetic mean. Mean marks obtained by 100 students are estimated to be 80. Later on it is found that one value was read as 86 instead of 26. Find out the corrected mean. So first we will write the formula of arithmetic mean that is sigma x divided by n. When we will calculate it, we will get sigma x equals to arithmetic mean n. In the question, we have given arithmetic mean that is 80 and n is the number of observation. By putting the value in the formula, we will get sigma x which is wrong that is 80 into 100 is equals to 8000. Correct value equals to 26 and incorrect value is equals to 86 which is given in the question. Now we will apply the formula that is arithmetic mean of the series is equals to sigma x wrong plus correct value minus incorrect value divided by n that is number of observation. Now we will put up the values. We have calculated sigma x wrong which is 8000 plus 26 minus 86 divided by 100. We will get 7940 divided by 100 will get 79.4 so the correct mean is 79.4 weighted arithmetic mean weighted arithmetic mean refers to the average when different items of a series are given different weights according to their relative importance in the computation of simple arithmetic mean it is assumed that all the items in the series are of equal importance however there are situations in which values of observation in the series are not of equal importance. If all the items are not of equal importance, then simple arithmetic mean will not be a good representative of the given data. Hence, weighting of different items become necessary. The weights are assigned to different items depending upon their importance that is more important items are assigned more weight. We have so far studied about simple arithmetic mean in which all items of a series are given equal importance. But sometimes we need to give more importance to some of the items and less importance to other items. Sometimes it is important to assign weights to various items according to their importance when you calculate the arithmetic mean. For example, there are two commodities, mangoes and potatoes you are interested in finding the average of price of mangoes that is p1 and price of potato that is p2 the arithmetic mean will be p1 plus p2 divided by 2 however you might want to give more importance to the rise in price of potatoes that is p2 to do this you may use the quantity of mangoes which is denoted by q1 and the quantities of potatoes which is denoted by Q2 as weights. Now the arithmetic mean weighted by the quantities would be Q1 P1 that is quantity of the mangoes plus Q2 P2 which is the quantity of the potatoes divided by Q1 plus Q2 that is quantity of mango plus quantity of potatoes. This is how we will calculate weighted arithmetic mean. Computation of weighted mean. 
In calculating the weighted mean, each item of the series is multiplied by its weights and the product so obtain is total. This total is divided by the total of weights and the resulting figure is weighted mean. Symbolically, it is written as x with a dash above it, w is equals to sigma w x divided by sigma w, where x with a dash above it and w is equals to weighted mean, sigma w x is equals to sum of the products of the items and their respective weights, and sigma w is equals to sum of weights. Though weighted arithmetic mean is an average, yet it is different from simple arithmetic mean in the sense that in the calculation of simple arithmetic mean, all items of a series are given equal importance. Whereas in the calculation of weighted arithmetic mean, different items of a series are given different weights according to their relative importance in the series. Let us understand this with the help of a following illustration. We have to calculate weighted mean of the following data which is provided to us. To calculate the weighted arithmetic mean, we have to make a table of three columns. In the first column, we will write marks, which is denoted by letter X, 100, 200, 300, 400, and so on. In the second column, we will write weights, which is denoted by W, which is given in the question that is 2, 3, 6, 7, and so on. After adding up the weights, we will get sigma W is equals to 30. In the last column, we will write the product of x and w, that is variable and weights. We will get 200, 600, 1800 and so on. After adding up the observations, we will get sigma w x, which is equals to 12,300. Now, we will apply the formula of weighted arithmetic means, which is x with a dash above it, w is equals to sigma w x divided by sigma w. In the table, we have calculated sigma wx, which is equals to 12,300, divided by sigma w, which is 30. We will get 410. This is how we will calculate weighted arithmetic mean. Merits of arithmetic mean. It is the most widely used measure of central tendency because, first, it is simple. It is the simplest of all the measures used to calculate average. It is easily understood. It does not require scientific knowledge to calculate mean. Second point, it is a representative value. It is a single value that summarizes the data and is capable to represent the entire data. It is based on all the items of a given series. Third point, it is rigidly defined. Its value is always definite. It has a fixed value and all the methods of calculating arithmetic mean, direct, shortcut and step deviation give the same definite number of arithmetic mean in a series. It is capable of algebraic treatment. It is a capable of further algebraic treatment. It is therefore used in statistical analysis of the problem or in mathematical treatment of statistical studies. Fifth point, it is a stable measure. It is a stable measure of central tendency because it is a calculated value and not a positional value like median and mode. And the last merit, it is least affected by fluctuations of sample. It ensures stability in calculation because it is least affected by fluctuation of sampling. It is because changes in the sample of a series affect the arithmetic average of the series to the minimum. Following are the merits of arithmetic mean. Demerits of arithmetic mean. Although arithmetic mean satisfies most of the properties of an ideal average, it has certain drawbacks and should be used with care. It suffers from various limitations which are as follows. First, it is affected by extreme values. Since arithmetic average is calculated from all the items of a series, it is unduly affected by extreme values that is very small or very large items. For example, if monthly income of 4 person is 5,000, 7,000, 8,000 and 1 lakh, then their arithmetic mean will be 30,000 which does not represent the data. Second point, assumption in case of open end classes. In case of open end classes, the arithmetic mean cannot be calculated unless assumptions are made regarding the magnitude of class intervals of the open end classes. Third, absurd results. Arithmetic mean sometimes gives such results which appear almost absurd. If we have an average of 3.2 children per family, 
for a particular community obviously the result is absurd as a child cannot be divided into fraction not possible in case of quantitative characteristic in the fourth point arithmetic mean cannot be computed for a qualitative data that is data on intelligence honesty smoking habit etc in such cases median is the only average to be used fifth demerit more stress on items of higher value the arithmetic mean gives more importance to higher items of a series as compared to smaller items that is it has an upward bias if one out of five items four are small and one item is quite big then big item will push up the average considerably but the reverse is not true if in series of five items four has big values and one has small values the arithmetic average will not be pulled down very much next demerit is complete data required the arithmetic mean cannot be calculated without all the items of a series for example if out of 1000 items the value of 999 items are known then arithmetic average cannot be calculated other averages like median and mode do not need complete data seventh demerit calculation by observation not possible arithmetic mean cannot be computed by simply observing the series like median or mode eighth point no use of graphs arithmetic mean cannot be calculated by using graphs and the last demerit non existent value as mean sometimes arithmetic average can be a fictitious figure which does not exist in the series the arithmetic average of a 8 14 17 and 25 is 16 no item of the series have the value of 16 these are the demerits of arithmetic mean in this table we can see the list of formula that we have discussed in this chapter regarding arithmetic mean arithmetic mean can be calculated with the help of three method that is direct method shortcut method and step deviation method each of the method can be used in individual series discrete series and continuous series we have discussed all the formula regarding arithmetic mean and weighted mean thank you for watching edupedia world videos